<laughs> hey guys, um, this is really important. I think WWE took one of my ideas, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I think they really did. This is an idea that I had whenever I was in WWE. I was gonna make this idea. I actually said it on one of these videos, I think. How I said that I was gonna turn on Dominic, right? Attack him with retribution. And then all that other stuff. Then for a while, I'd be heel, fighting him, wrestling him. He beats me, I beat him. We go back and forth with the losing, winning, losing, winning situation. And then top it off, Aaliyah starts to fall for, well, my character in WWE. Because she sees me and she's like, oh man. Because she realized I was also um, <clears throat> Seth Rollins, um, not disciple, but Seth Rollins is one of his main, well, one of his main lackeys. Like, I'm like a side, you know, the side dude. Well, he says, good job for, you know, attacking Dominic, blah, blah, blah. He actually liked it. But then I started losing matches against him. And then I helped uh, Dominic beat uh, Seth Rollins by accident, you know, because I attack him by, uh, attack Seth Rollins by accident. <clears throat> Which is kind of funny. Murphy did the same thing. That I was gonna, that I was doing. But mine was different. <coughs> mine was different. Because Aaliyah starts falling for me, little by little. I keep being attacked with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, you know, does all that crap. But here's where the part of where they took my storyline part. My storyline part was where I actually start falling for her and then I defend her whenever she was about to get attacked by Seth Rollins. I'm hoping the fact that if that's the case, I hope Seth Rollins doesn't attack Aaliyah because if he does try to attack her, that means one thing is they took my idea because that was my idea. Well then, if that's the case, if that actually does happen, Murphy will come in and defend her inside with the Mysterios. But the bad thing is, Dominic and Ray doesn't like the idea of the character, which is my character, not liking her, you know, falling for her. He, she doesn't like, they don't like her falling for me. So it's really weird because reality is, <clears throat> uh, that was my idea. So that actually does happen. That means they did take my idea. But anyway, here's where I think if they are taking my ideas, I'm gonna make new ideas in this storyline, okay? Okay, well, I'm gonna make it better so it doesn't actually turn out to be like what my idea was. But here's where my idea comes in. Keith Lee, remember Keith Lee and Drew McIntyre's storyline? Well, okay. Keith Lee, Drew McIntyre were fighting each other, okay? Last month, this past month in that wall. But Retribution came in and attacked him, right? Then, Hurt, Hurt, then the Hurt Business came out and attacked the Retribution. Well, here's where my storyline comes in for the next week. Well, Keith Lee, Drew McIntyre didn't actually finish the match, right? I, we give them rematch. It's going to be Keith Lee versus Drew McIntyre again for the main event again. But this time, this time, Hurt Business comes out and watches over both of them, right? Because they don't like Retribution. They're, they're afraid that Retribution might come back out again. But here comes the fun part. Hurt Business attacks Drew McIntyre from a distraction. The referee gets distracted by one of them. They all three attack him, do the move on him, and say, so he Keith Lee, pin him, win the match. Now, here's where the funny part comes in. Keith Lee does not like the idea of people helping him, win, helping him, helping him out. So he attacks all the business members and says, nah, dude, I got this on my own. Picks up Drew McIntyre, right? Then he waits for him to get back up. He doesn't know this, but he gets distracted by the hook business. And Drew McIntyre does his move on him one. Does his move on him once. Pins him one, two, three. Drew McIntyre wins a match. Right? No retribution comes out. Not this time. Well, and if they do, it might be at the end. But then retribution does come out, okay? Wait for it. Retribution comes out, attacks hook business again. But this time, Keith Lee comes out and helps out hook business. Now here's the problem right here. I would love to see Keith Lee join Hurt Business, but he doesn't have to join it at all. But he could if he wants to. It would be a hell of a match. It would be five big dudes, well five big people, well five people are part of the business called Hurt Business. MVP, Shelton Benjamin, 
Bobby Lashley, Cedric Alexander, and Keith Lee. Now that would be sick. Okay, that was mine and my ideas. Now on to Sasha Banks and Bailey match. Okay. Sasha and Bailey match, okay? Sasha attack got attacked last uh, two weeks ago. Bailey came out last week and explained why he why she attacked Sasha Banks, right? Well, she told him that she was a fake friend and everything, blah 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 blah. Now she comes back to to the sun Friday. Well, the SmackDown. She comes back. Sasha Banks does. Sasha Banks comes out, gets really angry, talks and explains why the f would you do that. Get mad at her best friend for doing that. Then Bailey tries to come out and tries to attack her from behind. But wait for it. Bailey misses her opportunity because Sasha Banks turns around, attacks her back. They get into a fight, a ball fight. It goes back and forth for a little bit. Then the referees come out, try to separate them, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes down to that where next weekend, the week after next week, after this week, well, next weekend after that, they get a match against each other. Then a week after that, it's a match between them both again, but as a tag team, even though they're not friends anymore, they attack each other while they're in a tag team match. Then at the main event of a, at my, at the next pay-per-view match, Sasha Banks versus Bailey happens for the SmackDown Women's Championship match. Right? But then I don't know who wins the match. It could be Bailey, it could be Sasha Banks. I would never know. So that was my idea. Next to Aaliyah Murphy situation. Okay. Now here's the thing. I still really think they're taking my idea from when I told it I when I said it in my freaking video. I think I said it in the video before my idea. And I think they heard it and took the idea and now they're running with now they're taking my idea and running with it. So here's where my situation comes in. I'm gonna make a new storyline for Murphy, Ray Mysterio, Seth Rollins, Dominic Mysterio, Ray Mysterio's wife, and also Aaliyah, the daughter. Okay, here we go. Ray Mysterio has a match against Seth Rollins. Oh no. Dominic Mysterio has a match with against Seth Rollins again but here's the thing the whole family is on Dominic's side watching him and then Buddy Murphy comes out again for the third or fourth time here's where it comes fun Buddy Murphy is there to help out Seth Rollins who was supposed to be but he gets tired he remembers all the times he got slapped around hurt by Seth Rollins he sees Seth Rollins about to attack you know who Then he defends all of them, Murphy does, and he attacks Seth Rollins. Then, but here's the thing though, Seth Rollins attacks right back, beats the holy crap out of, Dom, uh, out of Murphy. Then he beats Seth Rollins, I mean, then Seth Rollins beats Dominic Mysterio again for the hundredth time. He does his move on Dominic Mysterio, one, two, three, wins the match, leaves the ring. Then, here comes the fun part. Aaliyah chucks on both, not just Murphy, but also Dominic Mysterio. See it, the both okay. But this time, she goes to Murphy again in front of Dominic and Rey Mysterio. And Rey Mysterio and Dominic does not like it, like seeing what they see. See, this is what my idea was going to be like. Well, I defend and help out Seth Rollins again on that night, but I got tired of his bullshit. Then he attacks. Aaliyah tries to attack Aaliyah someday. He tries to attack Aaliyah. Then I come in defend her. I beat the crap out of him. But then it turns around. I get my butt kicked by Seth Rollins. He embarrasses me again for the I don't know how many times. And then blah blah blah. Aaliyah feels bad for me. That was my storyline. But here I'm going to use it for their storyline. So anyway. And then it feels bad. Remember, Sir Dominic doesn't like it. And then the whole storyline after that, it just goes on, on, and after that, it's, it's different story parts. It becomes a love story for a little bit. It doesn't last forever. My, my love story doesn't last forever. I just use it for a little bit. But anyway, it's like really weird. I'm hoping they do use this because if you guys hear this WWE, please, for the love of God, actually use this storylines that I'm talking about in this, in this, um, video because reality is that would be awesome i'll make more storylines for you if you want me to 
just tell me. I'll be the WWE writer, storytelling, storytelling, storyteller of all time. I will make good storylines for you all. Even if you steal my idea, I won't care. Just use it, you know? It'd be kind of cool. Knowing people actually see my ideas and they actually use it for themselves. Now, it would make me upset, make me jealous, but at the same time, it would make me a little bit happy knowing people know who I am. <coughs> anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll see you guys in my next video.